even though I highly recommend Japanese motorcycles and they tend to be the most reliable they're easy to come by the pricing is pretty good on them um, you know Japanese bikes you can't go wrong with this that's why you know I've always had Japanese bikes I did have a few European bikes but I find that uh, Japanese bikes are a lot more reliable parts are a lot cheaper and uh, you know you know I'd rather be riding than fixing but I'm gonna tell you guys that there is one fatal flaw with Japanese motorcycles stay tuned let's go for a ride watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today by the way for those of you guys that don't know i did a full build series on this awesome 2019 yz450 fx that i turned into a custom supermoto i have a link to my build series in the description and comment section of this video i'm gonna tell you guys you know regardless of the bike you ride you have to wear the gear out here to stay safe out here on the streets and i have some awesome gear if you want to get it like my favorite ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield my motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe shorty gloves all my gear i include links in the description and comment section of this video that brat 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 baby yeah on that 450 plus some wheelies on it all day, baby. Having a good old time out here on my supermoto. Supermoto life. Yeah, baby. And with Japanese, you know you're going to be riding with the Japanese bikes. And you ain't going to be doing no fixing. And uh, But I'm going to tell you the problem I have with Japanese motorcycles. Um, now some of you guys are gonna say cycle cruiser that's not fair you're wrong for saying this <laughs> but I'm gonna say that Japanese bikes uh, most of them are ugly <laughs> the fatal flaw is that Japanese makes ugly motorcycles for the most part man not all of them i think the yamaha r1 looks pretty good i think the best looking japanese bike ever i think a lot of you guys will agree is the older uh the previous generation r6 that was a beautiful bike it was even though it was a top end bike and not something you probably won't be riding out here i mean because it's a straight up track bike my cousin has won some professional races on uh, the R6 and uh, amazing bike. Yeah, baby. The Yamaha MT10 is, I think, probably the ugliest bike that Yamaha makes. <laughs> Next to the V Max. The V Max is ugly, uh, but it's got all that torque and it's a beautiful bike to ride. Don't get me wrong. But it's nothing, his looks are nothing to write home to mama about. The, uh, the Kawasaki H2, amazing bike again. Awesome, tons of power, beautiful uh, in terms of performance. But then, the looks, ugly, ugly. The Kawasaki ZH2, they managed to even make it uglier than the H2. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Yamaha MT-09, the new one, is uglier than the previous generations. Ugly. The uh, MT-07 looks better. I have to give them credit. It does look pretty decent. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Don't get me wrong. But the new MT-09 is ugly. That headlight, it doesn't flow with the bike awesome bike don't get me wrong i owned the, M the previous gen mt09 a 2020 mt09 but that bike was kind of i didn't like that bike that much because it didn't fit me well it just I, I hated the way the seating position was it just didn't feel right you know what i'm saying and uh it was a bit that uh, snatchy throttle even though it kind of i fixed it a bit with putting uh you know that a flash tuner on there which by the way if you want to flash tune your own bike you can get a flash tuner for your bike and it's easy uh, i have a link to one in the description and comment section of this video 
which will open your bike up and help smooth the throttle out, especially on that older MTL9 and probably the new MTL9. I don't know, I haven't rode the new one. Um, but I'm telling you, Japanese motorcycles are so ugly, a lot of them. I mean, Italian bikes are beautiful, most of them. But Jap Japan makes the, I don't know what, what it is. I, I don't know where they get their designers. Like, what are they thinking in their head when they're designing these bikes? But I wish they would hire some designers from Ducati or especially MD Agusta. Could you imagine if Japan made bikes that look like MD Agusta bikes? Oh my gosh, I'm in the process of looking for another bike to buy. I was set to get a 2021 KTM 1290 Super Duke R 2021 model. And uh, that fell through because of the shipper was a fraud and nearly scammed me. And they wouldn't hold the bike to let me look for another shipper. So I had to forego that. There's no other Super Dukes around, new Super Dukes around to buy. So forget it. Um, so I'm, I figure I'm going to go ahead and get a 2022 bike. And I'm waiting for Japan to come out with their new 2022 lineup from the different manufacturers and see if there's something that I like. But I can guarantee you that most of the new bikes they come out with is going to be ugly, man. Um, even though I, you know, once you throw a leg over the bike, all that matters is the performance and your enjoyment riding, okay? Don't get me wrong, but it's also really nice to have a good looking bike. And don't get me wrong, Honda and, and especially Honda used to make some pretty good looking bikes. I thought my former 2012 CBR1000 RR was a pretty good looking bike, even though some of you guys call that ugly, but you know, looks are subjective. I, I was always a CBR fan back in the day, but the new 2021 CBR 1000 RR, I don't like the looks, and the triple R, I don't like the looks of it, man. <laughs> I, I, it's like, come on, man. Get something pretty. Make something pretty for once. My gosh, is it that hard to make a pretty bike? Make a pretty bike that we want to buy, that we look at it and we're like, oh, I gotta have that bike. It looks awesome. We get that with KTM. We get it with Aprilia, Envy Agusta, a lot of other European bikes with Japan. Not often do we get that. Like I said, some of the bikes are okay looking. You know, the R1, the previous R, you know, R6 was awesome. But there's not many pretty bikes out there, man. You know what I'm saying? For Japan. And uh, that could change easily. They, they, they're the richest manufacturers. I mean, Japan, if you are listening, please make a pretty, make your bikes pretty. Okay, <laughs> I'd hire some designers from, steal some designers from Ducati and MV Agusta, okay? And make us, design us some beautiful bikes, okay? I want you guys, tell me guys, what do you guys think? You share my opinion that Jap Japanese motorcycles are, a lot of most of them are ugly. And tell me, what are the pretty Japanese bikes? I want to hear your opinion on what are the prettiest. Like I said, to me, the prettiest Japanese bike out of all of them. Hold on. Let me... Yeah, baby. Is the, uh, the previous Gen R6. Beautiful bike. Beautiful bike. Still today, it's a good looking bike. And one of the most popular bikes has probably one of the most winningest uh, bikes in the history, probably. Um, amazing, amazing bike, man. Um, let me bust a wheelie up the hill. But I tell you guys that, you know, one thing you can't go wrong with the Japanese dirt bikes, because dirt bikes look like dirt bikes. You know what I'm saying? They all pretty much look the same. So, to me, this is a good looking bike, but some of you guys may think this is ugly. I don't know. Like I said, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It doesn't matter what Cycle Cruiser thinks because it matters what you're buying it and that's all that matters. I've seen you guys ha are super happy on some of the ugliest bikes out there. <laughs> and, uh, and, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Like I said, it don't matter what Cycle Cruiser thinks, man. But I tell you guys, you know, whatever you do, make sure you hit thumbs up. It really helps my channel when you hit thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and also share this video. 
and I'd like to get other people's opinion, man. That's why I do these videos to help incite community discussion. I, I love talking with you guys and getting your opinions on stuff, man. Um, also, check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.